Coach Cooperman. Good session there. Uh, I'm glad I'm not your dummy. My hip would have popped out of socket about seven times. But uh, good stuff on top. We're here at the Combine. Uh, C3, Jersey, back home. How's it feel to be back home? Awesome. I love it. Jersey boy through and through. And uh, this, when Cliff hit me up the other day, he had an opportunity. Uh, one, to come to Jersey. Two, to be with Cliff. And spend some time picking you know, his brain, Lee Roper's brain. I just couldn't say no. So new position for you, right? Yes, sir. Um, Rebranding of the Finger Lakes Wrestling Club to... We have the New York Regional Training Center. We still have the Finger Lakes. Finger Lakes is a, we have a little cl club situation, but we have a um, situation where guys that are looking to go to Cornell or maybe just, you know, Division One, they're not ready to, you know, make that move yet. They want to clean their grades up. They can go to Tompkins County Community College, call it TC3, and that's our Finger Lakes Prep. So basically, Finger Lakes Prep is a situation where you graduate high school, you come up, you're living in a house, you're paying for housing, you're paying for, you know, community college, and you're training with the club. And, you know, it's an opportunity to get better, get some college credits under, and maybe you can go to Cornell. You know, if it's a year of going to community college to go to Cornell University, it's well worth it, right? And maybe not even going to Cornell. If you want to go to Bloomsburg, Lock Haven, Rutgers, whatever, it just gives you an opportunity to train, get better, and you know, go to some open tournaments, show that you've made a jump and you're ready to compete at the next level. Yeah, I think Ben Darmstadt went that route, actually. Mike Gray, we've had numerous guys. Some recruits that are coming uh, next year that are going to play there. Vito Arruja is in it right now. Um, it's a great situation. We've had a lot of guys do it. So you make the move from Maryland. Yes, sir. Okay, you're working with Milwaukee Tools up to Ithaca. What was that move like? And, you know, was there convincing with your wife? How did you do all that? Because I think I'm, I'm going to need some advice from you how to convince wives to do things. <laughs> right, 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 big moves and things like that. But um, you know, how did, how did that work out and, and what, what came into that decision? It's our third move in five years together. But my wife is the daughter of a wrestling coach, so she's used to it. She's lived in Arkansas, Florida, Switzerland, Oklahoma. So, you know, going to Illinois, to Maryland, to Ithaca. Um, we like it. It's an opportunity to live in different states. It's unique. Um, you know, when I was at Illinois, my wife and I were going to have kids, and it was time to move into a different situation. Um, the guy I was working for called Rob Cole and said he needed a coach for his son. And Rob said, I don't know about, you know, when it comes to selling tools or anything like that, but when it comes to training kids, you know, this is your guy. So I was working for um, Joe Galli down in Maryland. And you know, back to Rob Cole, full circle. It was just an opportunity. I mean, I worked when I was at Cornell. I had a kid who was a junior or senior. For two years that I trained with junior senior in high school, and that being Kyle Dake, right? And now Kyle Dake is trying to make the Olympic team. He is, if he's not the best guy in the world, he's right behind Burroughs, and I think we've closed that gap, and he will. He beat him. He did. He, he beat, beat him. him. In the second match, he, he was right there. You know, he always has to go through four matches, and then you know, he has Jordan. So, um, Kyle's looking to be the best in the world. He wants to win the Olympics, and he, he needed a coach for the senior level guys. And we have a great Greco Roman situation. We have the best Greco Roman senior level situation in the country. Matt Lynn was just out here. He loves it. Right? He loves what it's like. 15 guys, we have a Greco Roman coach, a hot Iranian, and now it's to get the freestyle club at the same level. Yeah, I look at what you guys have done there. You got the Friedman Center. I mean, why not go to Cornell? It's like, if you hate snow, maybe not, but I mean, you got a guy who won multiple NCAA titles from Hawaii. So if that guy can come there and flourish, do you think that this is a situation where you guys can go to the next level? They're, they're quote unquote rebuilding, right? They got one All-American coming back. Obviously your job is to support the college team and then post-graduates and you know, the, the little kids club as well, but can they go to the next level with bringing you in? Well, um, it's not just me. I mean, uh, we have great staff. Rob Cole is the hardest working college coach in the country. Um, we have Damian Hahn, Mike Gray, Don Vincent, right? Um, regarding guys like Vito, who's at TC3, Yannick Yachmahalas, who I think is the real deal. I think he's the next face of Cornell. And we have some recruits that are committing, and some guys that are becoming the next year. And between the next two recruiting classes, I think in the next three years, we can compete to be the best team in the country. Um, and 
I have a lot of faith in Rob Cole. I, mean, I, I worked for him for three years coming out of college. Uh, I've been to different universities, Big Ten, EIWA, and um, just seeing Rob's work ethic, what he does. I mean, the guy works extremely hard, uh, all angles, to he's very competitive. He wants to be the best, and he's proven with all the things that he's done. I think they won 11 conference titles in a row. Um, he's just a great coach and you know, manager of it all. He's just a fantastic coach. You know, he's, a, he's a CEO, you know, and he does a great job. I mean, I was walking around campus the other day with my wife, just showing her campus, and you know, I've been to a lot of different college campuses. Cornell is by far one of the most beautiful campuses. It's that real deal when you're looking at a movie and they're showing you what college looks like. Uh, not all college campuses look like that. Cornell's got those statues in the courtyards and there's all these beautiful gorges. It's, the saying is, Ithaca is gorgeous, right? All these huge drop-offs and waterfalls. Yeah, it gets cold in the winter, but I mean, when it comes to college campuses, that's one of the most beautiful. All right, you're back in Jersey. I'm guessing you probably got something going on today. What else you got? Uh, my best friend is sitting behind you right now. We're probably going to get a meal and um, just hang out for an hour or two and then just back up to Ithaca. Got two kids and a wife to get back to, so um, left them last night and I'll get back to them. You know, it's three and a half hours to get down to Jersey and get back up, so it's, it's close enough to take that trip in time. All right, you got anything else for me? Uh, you know, for, for kids out there that are looking to get themselves on the map, these college combines that Coach Redwell does are great. There's college coaches here, there's great wrestlers here. Uh, coaches are walking away with rosters with kids, their names, their accomplishments, their GPAs, all that stuff. If you haven't found a home yet and you're looking for a way to find a home, this is the way to do it. College, you know, compounds, college combines. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the time. Safe travels. Enjoy Jersey while you're home, all right? Thank you.